Hello students, today we are going to study a very important part of writing skills that is article and speech writing. Generally it is observed that students score well in reading section as well as in literature section but when it comes to the writing skills they lose marks. If this is the case with you and you want to score 10 out of 10 this video is for you. So let's start. First of all, we'll see the marking scheme and this marking scheme is as per the CBC parameters. So the marking scheme is divided into three parts. Number one, format. Number two, contents. Number three, expression. What are they? In total, article and speech are for 10 marks. So the 10 marks are divided into three parts. Number one, format, that is for one mark. And the format is nothing but the layout of your ideas. How should the piece of writing look like? So we should include title, name of the writer, and the body of the article or the speech. The reason being, uh, today we'll be learning both how to write article and how to convert article into speech or speech into article. So the body will include four things, introduction, causes or merits, effects or demerits and conclusion. By the way, let me tell you the topic can be of two types, debatable topic or non-debatable topic. And generally I call it one-sided topic or two-sided topic. Some topics we can speak in favor of or we can speak against of but some some topics are single-sided you can either speak in favor of them or you can speak against them so in case we have single-sided topic so after introduction we should mention the causes and effects if our topic is double-sided that is debatable topic then we to, should write merits and demerits and finally that is conclusion now contents, contents or you can say the main body of article, it includes introduction, causes, effects or merits or demerits and then conclusion. But notable points, notable points are that in the body of article or speech we must provide minimum six to seven value points related to the concept in the question. If you have more than seven, you're welcome, but less than six won't work. You will be losing some points for that. And third is the expression point. First and second part is done well almost equally by almost all the students. But the real difference is created by the third step that is expression. Expression includes two parts, accuracy and style. So your language, whatever you write, must be grammatically accurate. It includes your spellings, tenses, prepositions, and all other parts of speeches, as well as coherence and cohesiveness. Cohesiveness means all the words, phrases, and sentences must be grammatically well connected. And coherence means the ideas you provide in the article or speech must be logically connected. And then comes style. Style is the unique way of writing. And the unique way of writing is developed with the help of two things, diction and syntax. Diction means the vocabulary you use, the words and the phrases and the idioms you use. And syntax is the sentence structure. So during the practice, you should work in a way that you collect a handy store of the vocab as well as the sentence structures, which will help you to create your unique and individualized style. Now next is steps to be taken. 
so when we are doing practice of and we are learning how to write article and speech we should follow these steps by the way the popular formula is coder c o d e r but i am giving you the simplified version of the same first of all select the topic because in examination you will be given the question the topic will be in the, your question itself but while at home and you are doing practice so select the topic of your own choice begin with the topics which appeal you the most which are very close to your heart because you are having more knowledge about those areas and you have more number of the vocab and big amount of the sentence structures next is collect the ideas once you have decided that okay i'm going to write about this topic now think about that concept that topic that idea and start collecting your ideas which are related and relevant to that concept and topic we we'll learn how to collect the ideas in the later slides then structure the ideas once you have ideas in your hand 50% job is done there and then next thing is how to arrange and organize those ideas and then make a rough draft once mentally you have clear road map of your article now start writing it down on the paper make a rough draft after making a rough draft read it once again and revise the draft to use creative language because first time when we write we can't use the appealing and the impressive language we are in hurry or we are not in habit both the cases are valid in this way so while reading your rough draft underline the areas which you need to improve linguistically you want to use better words better vocabulary and better sentence structures underline them and then replace that simple words and simple vocabulary with the help of the better one you have decided to replace with and finally comes the proofreading or editing part now once you feel that i have done everything now read the article or the speech you have written once again for the accuracy for the coherence and cohesiveness and appeal of the language if you still feel something more should go in the improvement you should do that otherwise your piece of writing is ready by now so these many steps are minimum to become a good writer then comes the areas for topic selection whether you select or most of the times we see that the cbsc paper setters they pick up the topics from the following areas more and more they just give preference and i think this is very comprehensive area you can say the educational area sports area by the way it's not sports it's sports then economic political let me just add r over here let me just write it once again sports economic political social environmental and health area generally the questions are asked from these areas you also should try to just focus on these areas when you are selecting your topics during practice phase now this is the main part we have decided our topic now we need to collect the ideas how to collect the ideas so there are many ways but one of the many is web diagram which is my favorite and i am going to share this with you people too you just write down the theme or the concept in the center of the page and put a circle around it see over here today's topic is terrorism a big threat to humanity so put a circle around it and start collecting ideas about it what can we write about this concept we can write definition of this we can write about the and second thing we have to think about whether this is one sided topic or double sided means debatable topic or non debatable terrorism can we speak in the favor of the topic can we glorify the topic can we tell something which is meritorious in terrorism no 
so it is just one sided we can simply criticize it we can speak on the dark side only dark side is present so this is single sided topic and we have to write down the causes so we'll select the causes over here and what possible causes are there whatever the ideas come to mind jot them down as well as take help of different books magazines newspapers or internet also or you can discuss with the friends and seniors and collect the ideas what are the possible causes for terrorism inequality and discrimination poverty injustice problem with the leaders and administrators and lack of education these five are the most potential causes of terrorism there may be many but at least we have selected five then if we are talking about causes next step would be influences or the effects of terrorism on the people common life you can say so individual and social fear this is one of the causes the loss of life and property criminal hatred obviously when we talk about terrorism many people you must have heard saying that all the muslims are not terrorists but all the terrorists are muslim so definitely it's an attack on muslim community this this may be the truth also but finally the people in muslim community there are so many people who are very innocent souls who are very good people so when we say that all the muslims are not terrorists but all the terrorists are muslims so definitely directly indirectly it is hurting the sentiments of those people who are very good very genuine and true musliman so in this way it creates a gap between the communities so communal hatred then instability of the system and misuse of resources these are the common influences or effects of terrorism and then we can speak about the conclusion this is the last part of article writing or speech writing so in conclusion we need to repeat the main ideas especially from the causes and effects whatever we have spoken so far or written so far we need to collect the main ideas and repeat them and then we need to add our own opinion with them also we need to mention the way out and the solutions what are the ways out of this problem how terrorism can be fought or not only fought how can it be eradicated or if not eradicated if not uprooted from the globe at least how can it be minimized so one two three as many steps we need to provide as we can so this is how we can collect the ideas once the ideas are collected 50% our job is done there and there then and there then comes the structuring of the ideas how to lay those ideas out so in a very centralized position you can see this yellow part take it to be your page so in the centralized position we need to write down the title just underneath the title we need to write down the name of the writer by the way name of the writer can be written at three places this is one place it can be written right hand side over there also or it can be written left hand side at the bottom also here also it can be written so choice is yours i think this is more convenient so we can go for this one after writing the name of the writer give single line space and start from the next line the very first step should be hook what is this hook hook means write down a very impressive very appealing either quotation or some couplet which is going to set the tone of the article so fighting terrorism is like being a goalkeeper you can make a hundred brilliant saves but the only shot that people remember is the one that gets past you this is the hook it has set the tone of the article what you are going to write and then comes introduction part introduction can be done in three ways so three ways are there by giving the definition of the concept in hand 
or by using a rhetorical question followed by your general opinion about the topic or by writing a couplet. These are the three popular ways we can introduce any topic with the help of. Now choice is your. It's as per your taste, your choice, your convenience and your skills. Which one you prefer? My favorite is the third one, the couplet one. And I suggest you people, whenever you do practice, also try to just jot down a few poetic lines about the same concept. It will be very helpful. And next is contents. In contents, we'll write down causes and effects. If it is double-sided topic, then merits and demerits. And then comes conclusion part. So this is how we need to structure our ideas, organize our ideas. One more thing, students. Like in the beginning, we should start with hook. But I suggest you people to end as impressively as the beginning. Your beginning and your ending of article or speech must be very impressive. So the way you start your article or your speech, you try to end the same way. So start with a couplet or the quotation and try to end your article and speech with some couplet or some quotation. But if possible, go for the third one in the middle. So from beginning till end, you will be able to arrest and attract the attention of the reader or the listeners. If you can't use the third one, then don't miss the last one. First and last must be there. Let's see the example. So see, the topic is terrorism, a big threat to humanity, just followed by the name of the writer, then one line gap is left, then hook is there, whatever the hook it was in the previous slide, I have just carried it forward. Fighting terrorism is like being a goalkeeper. You can make a hundred billion saves, but the only shot that people remember is the one that gets past you. Tony setup. Now introduction. As I told, introduction can be done in three ways. So the first way is giving definition of the concept. So this is definition. You can find many definitions according to different dictionaries and even from internet. By reading all these definitions, it's possible you can create your own one also, which is always better. Terrorism is the unlawful use of violence and intimidation, especially against civilians in the pursuit of political aims. So this is the definition. After that, you can start next part. Write something more about terrorism and your introduction is over. Next one is using rhetorical question plus giving your general opinion about the concept. So rhetorical question is the question which is used not to get the answer from the readers or the audience, rather to emphasize the fact which you are going to write about or speak on. What is terrorism? Terrorism is a systematic and coercive use of terror defined as violent or destructive acts as bombing, killing, kidnapping, etc. Committed by individuals or groups in order to intimidate a population or government into granting their demands. Introduction part is done. Or the third way, which is my favorite, it may be your favorite. Writing a couplet about the theme. Blood, fear, cry and destruction is on site. Blood, fear, cry and destruction is on site. In place of his write down, are on site, being subject plural. Life and fortune is wasted in the unfair fight. Humanity is ashamed to see the heinousity. The days go bleak, which could be bright. So these four lines speak volume about terrorism in a poetic way. So choice is yours. You can pick up any of the three given ways and st can start your topic. After we go for the introduction and then comes causes because our topic is one-sided. That is non-debatable topic. 
so what are the causes possible causes of terrorism as we have collected the ideas now we need to put all those collected ideas into sentences and it will become our paragraph there are many reasons why people become terrorists few of the reasons are dissatisfaction with the people running the country the country's economic problems lack of education racism economic inequality and differences in linguistics terrorism is one way these individuals and groups try to prove their points and justify the same causes next is affects on common life so what are the effects the after effects or aftermath so the results of terrorism are massive one act of terrorism leaves a significant effect on an individual alone and as a community the impact is more significant it leaves the people in a constant state of fear and insecurity terrorist attacks take the lives of thousands of people and millions of goods are destroyed another significant effect of terrorism is that it leads to the disbelief of the people in humanity when people's disbelief increases it leads to more people believing that violence is the answer to the people's problems so these are some of the effects which influence the society as well as the individuals in a very negative way which force them to change their mindset and then comes conclusion you'll be giving your opinion as well as some solution possible terrorism is not a problem that only one country faces countries all around the world face the problem of terrorism it's a global problem the only way that the world can fight terrorism is through uniting against it there is no other way that the world can fight terrorism unless it comes together so you have just given your opinion that terrorism is not a problem faced by any single state or country rather this is a sweeping problem this is a universal and global problem and what is the way out all other methods and tricks are useless unless until all the governments of the globe come forward shake hand and launch a campaign against the approved of this heinous and hideous evil of the devils so in this way we'll write down our all the ideas this is the rough draft now next step is more important or you rather you can say the most important after this rough draft you have to chalk out those areas where you want to use more creative language metaphorical language impressive language so see all the underlined red words or phrases i have decided to replace with the better vocab or better sentence structures and we'll make, uh, see uh, like uh, the difference between the two the first paragraph i labeled this is my simple language and second is impressive i have done this only for one paragraph you need to do for the whole article the whole speech so let's see there are many reasons why people become so i decided to change many reasons with some superseding phrase superseding means better while people become terrorists become i'll be changing few of the reasons i'll change it are this dissatisfaction with the people running the country the people running the country i'll be changing the country's economic problems lack of education racism economic inequality and differences in linguistics terrorism is one way i'll change it these individuals and groups try to prove their points and justify the same i'll change this one too so let's see now the improved format and draft there are manifold grounds and arguments in place of many reasons i used manifold grounds and arguments for why people become terrorist in place of become error resort to terrorism and terrorists is changed into terrorism and few of them here in the first draft you can see th these are two different sentences but in the second one i mix them up 
and made it compound one and few of them are dissatisfaction with the leaders and the administrators the people running the country is replaced by the leaders and the administrators the country's economic problems lack of education racism economic inequality and differences in linguistics terrorism is the excuse one way is replaced by the excuse these individuals and groups try to and remaining part again altogether replaced justify for injustice they have suffered for different reasons and at different points of time now if you read both of these paragraphs you'll find the second one is one notch up better and improved one if you go by marking obviously if you score two marks in the first one you will be scoring two and a half or minimum three in the second one this is how expression helps you people to score better but this practice should be done sincerely at home if you really want to improve your writing skills just by watching won't help you to score better now next is how to change article into speech and vice versa so if in an article we add these three steps our article becomes a speech the reason being article is by the writer for the readers and speech is by the speaker to the audience this is the difference in speech we need to use language in a way which is very helpful to connect the speaker to the audience so what should be there add address part before the introduction after writing your hook you need to address the audience how suppose if it uh, like uh, you want to just deliver a speech in school campus how it can be this is one of the examples you can use any language emblem of knowledge and vision respected principles sir guiding force of life were the teachers and the dawn of mother india my dear friends wish you all a very pious and good morning this is then write your name speak up your name in on paper you to write down your name this is so and so standing this side of the podium to address you all or to share my views on the given topic terrorism a threat to humanity and then causes and effects and then conclusion the same way second thing you have to add up is in article writing we focus on the incidents events and facts more and more but in speech along with all these things we need to repeat the use of first person pronoun because you are the speaker and you have to give your opinion you are just trying to give your opinion what you feel about what do you think about the concept in hand so you will be introducing yourself again and over again not too many times but at least 3 to 4 times in the speech so make use of first person pronoun i and at the same time use rhetorical questions why rhetorical questions as i told earlier that these rhetorical questions are a tool in your hand to connect you to the audience to connect the speaker to the audience greater the connection the more successful your speech would be so this is second step using pronoun i and then rhetorical questions and third step is after the conclusion close the speech with a note of thank in article we don't use thank and all but in speech we have to write down thank you so you can say to conclude or to sum up or to put it in nutshell i would like to say that then give your opinion and finally say thank you so your article will change into a speech and if it's a speech you take away all these three things from the speech and the remaining part of your writing will be just an article so this is how we can practice for one and can attempt both now these are few tips which you need to practice 
to bring in appeal in your writing to make your language very impressive what are they in article and speech writing you need to use comprehensive sorry this is comprehensive not compressive comprehensive comprehensive means multidimensional words and technical words if you write on education we need to use certain words which are related to only educational field we are writing on some topic related to politics then there are certain words phrases and idioms which are exclusively used for political situations only so those are the technical words which are known as terms then use idioms and phrases in place of simple language simple words try to use phrases and idioms but one thing you have to keep in mind the use of comprehensive technical words idioms and phrases should be just like salt in the food they are to enhance the taste of the food not to make it otherwise next is use compound and complex sentence structures in your article or speech writing generally we are trained and we are told and advised that use simple language small sentences this is for the basic ones students in fifth and sixth grade when you grow up your piece of writing must be having some maturity and mature ideas mature emotions cannot be carried forward in simple sentences and simple words the heavy loads can be afforded by the heavy sentence structures and the heavy words but the words you use and the sentence structures you use must not be the ones which are never ever used in our society so what to do pick up the best one which is in practice the best possible words the best possible sentence structures which are in practice read newspaper so how to just gain all these things so this is the solution read newspaper editorials magazines and books to pick up the good vocabulary and sentence structures because reading and listening these are the receptive tools there are four linguistic skills lsrw so listening and reading these are the receptive tools and speaking and writing they are the productive tools unless until we listen to and read a lot we can't speak well we can't speak we can't write impressively if you follow all these things guided in this video i'm damn sure you are going to turn out to be very good writers and will be able to score 10 out of 10 so that's all for today thank you so much for watching bye bye take care